Suspended. This is our auditorium at Audubon High. Ain't changed much. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a new generation of cheerleaders. Say hi, guys. How you doing? What's your class? What are you going to be? What's going to be your class? Class of what? 98. Do a good job out there. 98. Hey, who's going to, hey, what's the best score in the state? Who's going to win today? Here's the gym. John P. Kling Gymnasium. This is a picture of Benji Weil. We didn't get along at all. Bill Paul. He had track and field. He died while I was in school here. There's Jake at his retirement. I suppose his retirement. The Grace and Kramer Memorial Library. There's Jake's picture. Which is in the new school, which is where we didn't go to school. Doing a good job in here. Yeah. Do research here. We are hooked onto the internet. Starting next week, we'll be active. You've read about the information highway. All of our students are computer capable. It's a requirement for graduation. They have one full year of keyboarding and working on that, making use of the computers, and they have all their research papers are required by the computer. We provide services preschool and after school as well and during school where kids can, if they don't have their systems at home, they use it here. So they're very, very capable, much more than we would be. I think the young people adjust more quickly than ours, at least my age. I'm not very good at that. So this is only part of the library, and on my left over there is a research area there. We have communications with the county library, and we bring other materials in, microfiche as well as the delivery of text and so forth. So they have no excuse not to be able to do some research. Uh, we we kind of joke about this area over here. This is a, I don't say this in a negative tone, that's called our dead wall over here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you recognize, it. starting out here on the left, that's Ben Wild. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wim Paul. Now that little photograph, and you have a chance, why the reason that's hung, hung up there is I have to believe this is unique to Audubon. At one time there were five generations of teachers who had taught one another and they were all here at the school. You know, Jake's sitting down there. When Jake retired, he came back and subbed regularly and tutored, so we brought him back. And on the upper left of that small photograph is Louise Housel. Oh, jeez. Okay. The second one in is George Kinkler. You remember the Kinklers? Yeah. It's George. All right, I have to be the next one. And the one on the right is Joe Brown, and that's the Brown family that had a drugstore down here in Wyoming. Wow. And he's the baby of the family. And, of course, Joe and myself are still here teaching. There was five generations of the teachers here. Very unique. Wow. Uh, that's Dot Reed next. Remember, Dot came back, and she was loved by everyone here. She worked in the uh, secretarial in the office. office. Yeah. She graduated in 37, I believe. And of course, I know you know the other one. Yeah. 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 Everyone knows. <laughs> she was ahead of her time in a lot of ways. That's Coach Pickens in the 30s. 
The next photograph, that was donated by one of the alumni last year. Okay? And, uh, and obviously, you notice know, Jake over here. See, Jake was here into his 70s helping us out. He had been like through three generations of people, I guess you didn't know that. Over here to uh, my right back here is Louise Housel. So on the left, Louise uh, lives in Camden, Maine. We keep in contact with her. Now, to the person to the uh, right of Louise is uh, Evelyn White. Wow. And uh, she was a very artistic person. Can I vote? Amy! Amy! Thirty years ago, those stands would have been packed with people. Look at them, I'm just wondering. On this morning, starting our lineup. For the thundering herd of Woodbury, offensively. At center, number 50, Gaines Ross. At left guard, number 63, Pat King. At right guard, number 71, Kevin Drew. At the man Perez. Some days I feel. At split end, number 18, Travis Davis. And at the other split end, number 18, Aaron Harvey. At halfback, number 9, Lamar Sturdivant. At halfback, number 10, Shine Green. At four. You used to have to run laps around here. That's all different over there. We're going to go second and eight for Woodbury. On their own 34. Same old time. That's a handoff to Billy Kester. Regain of about two yards. Stopped by number 26, Bobby Bishop. Second. That's a pass from Callahan to get gains yeah, about four yards. You're a mascot. You know what it is. You've already stopped by. Doing. Go get it, Linda. 
<laughs> Go get him, Linda. Uh, no, that's what I did. Do you, I, could, I don't use those words. Age, age and weight, not in my vocabulary. Pretty cool.